Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's a dark, stormy day in the in the dark, stormy land of Korea. It's super duper rainy out. It's been a pretty boring week, and it happened kind of quick, so I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm kind of hard-pressed to uh, have a video today for you guys of any substance. So, I've got a life hack for y'all, and I'm going to take a bass line um, on my guitar playing, and hopefully every week I'll have like 30 to 60 seconds at the end of the video to uh, to play for you guys. and. Yeah, it'll be the same song, but hopefully it'll give me a baseline to help track my progress as I'm practicing so much. I haven't worked myself up to eight hours a day yet because these are are, are very very sensitive little little fingertips. <laughs> Metal strings hurt so bad after about three hours. So what you're gonna hear today is about three hours worth of practice daily, and uh, yeah, we'll go on there. But first, the life hack. Uh, so I was making pork chops earlier this week, and I burnt the crap out of my arm. It's the first second degree burn I've ever received in my life. No, it didn't get infected. Yes, mom, I did take care of it, and it's healing over quite well. Uh, the problem is I had to put a band-aid on it, and since it's on my forearm, and you'll see there's a lot of, a lot of little sensitive hairs here, and skin on your underarm can be very, very sensitive, uh, it really hurt to take band-aids off. So I'm going to teach you a life hack uh, for you, if you're a whiny little weakling like me who doesn't like pain. Or maybe you have a kid at home and you have to put a band-aid on a boo-boo and uh, they don't do well with the quick like a band-aid thing. It's a real easy life hack. So I'm going to apply said band-aid. See or not, it's band-aid brand. So the adhesive on it is super strong. It's going to hurt like a mother to take it off, but I'm going to teach you how not to. All right, so here we've got the band-aid. It's really, ah, it's really bound to the skin. But I've got two things uh, that I'm going to use. It's just paper towel, I think. Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, olive oil goes on the paper towel. Paper towel then saturates the adhesive side. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just rubbing olive oil all along the inside of that adhesive. I'm not putting any on the cottony part, just on the sticky part. And the goal is to actually soak through the band-aid so that you're actually getting to the glue and the skin beneath it. A lot of adhesives are not water soluble. Uh, that's what makes them so sticky, like duct tape. It's got a certain amount of waterproofing to it, similar to these band-aids. It's why when you wash your hands, your band-aid doesn't, well, your band-aid brand band-aid doesn't always come off in the shower or when you're washing dishes is because the adhesive on it is not water soluble. However, even though it's not water soluble, it tends to be oil soluble, which is why we're using olive oil. So if we see now, we take this. Yeah, we didn't do that. Then. But the band-aid basically lifts right off with enough oil. Uh, if you ever get a new car and you've got a sticker on the back windshield, you can use WD-40, the exact same method. You just soak through the paper right to the uh, adhesive underneath, and you can basically just squeegee it right off your window. If you get uh, if your car breaks down on the side of the highway and it's a couple days before you can get it, you get one of those orange stickers on the window, you can WD-40 that sucker right off. Uh, works on Band-Aids. Any other time you have an adhesive, if you've got duct tape on a wall or a chair or of your car and you need to remove it, once again, WD-40 or olive oil. Real simple like life hack to uh, hopefully make your life a little bit easier like it did mine. Number one, Matteo Carcassi. <laughs>
Thanks for watching this week. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the mini science lesson. Hope you enjoyed the one take performance. It will be better next week. How could it not be? And uh, yeah, maybe next week I'll show you my rig. Super shady. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching and take care.